hello and welcome to another video of simply everything and in this video i'll be covering the topic of whether or not if an amazon echo auto can control home devices or not from outside the home i was looking for an answer on youtube or google but i couldn't find it so i thought to check and make a video myself for people who are looking for a similar answer so let's get started with the unboxing first So the first thing first is that Echo Auto comes in only one color and in a matte finish which is a good thing because firstly it's not a finger magnet and less prone to smudges and secondly it blends in really well in most of the cars dashboards pretty well. Moving on it is powered by a micro USB cable has an aux port to connect to the car stereo if it doesn't have Bluetooth feature. It's designed subtle with the good finishing as you would expect from Amazon products. At the top as you can see that it has two buttons. One on the right is to mute this device in case if you don't want to hear it from back and just follow the instructions as said. And other one is to activate Alexa voice command if it's not listening to you then turn it on manually. Now let's see what we get in the box. Well, first of all, highly impressed with the fact that it comes with all the accessories you would need. The Echo device, of course, then the micro USB cable to power up the device. And by the way, it doesn't have any internal battery, so it needs continuous power all the time to work. Then it comes with 12 volt car charger. Well, I was surprised to see car charger in the box as I wasn't really expecting it but they put thought into it and good good work by amazon then it has a magnetic stand to hold amazon echo auto which is also i wasn't really expecting out of the box and the reason for that is that if you look for the amazon echo auto on amazon side then they also suggest you to buy the stand which costs around 1200 rupees so wasn't really expecting that in the box Anyway, last but not least is the aux cable, which is already explained that is needed if you don't have a Bluetooth stereo and it only supports either aux and USB inputs. Well, speaking of magnetic holder, it also pretty good and the grip is pretty sturdy. Once you place Echo Auto on it, then you would never feel that the auto would fall or loosen up at some point. No, nothing like that. Overall, the product that comes with it along with the actual device all are pretty top notch in terms of build quality. Okay, now let's connect Echo Auto to the phone. And for that, you would need a power source. Let me connect it to the power source and as soon as you would connect it, you see a blue light and it speaks to let you know that now it's ready to pair so pull out your phone open the alexa app if you already have an echo device then this is the same process if not then go to the devices look for a new device search for echo auto and then it shows the warning don't try to connect it while driving which makes sense that could be dangerous so don't do that i'd suggest then it will find your device, click on it, choose your preferred language, then attach it to the air vent if you want. If you don't want, then keep it somewhere down there uh, in your car, but just make sure that it should get the continuous power. That should not be interrupted. Then connect it to the Bluetooth. Well, actually it determines that if your stereo is connected to the phone, has a Bluetooth or not. So no hassle there, you really don't have to do anything other than just click yes. And the final test is that it gives you a sound, a test sound to let you know that if it's connected or not. Your device is ready to go that's it and you're ready to use it you can use it to make phone calls to navigate the location 
uh, request music without looking at your phone screen while driving and to change or repeat the song or play your favorite playlist okay so these are the things that everyone talks about but this is not why we are here are we so the point of this video was to determine if you can control your home devices with this amazon echo auto while outside the home so the answer is yes well yes actually you can control your home devices which are connected to the internet and alexa app via smart skills so let me give you an example that why you really need that so suppose you are outside your home and now you're reaching home in 15 to 20 minutes so you would want to turn the ac on so that once you reach home you will find your preferred temperature or if you want to turn on the geyser which is also a wi-fi geyser or maybe internet connected geyser which is connected to your alexa app then yeah it can just make your hot shower ready as soon as you reach home so basically it does all that and gives you the power of controlling home or office devices by voice command well let me know what do you think about it in the comment section and if you have had thought of having something like that to control your devices well before ending this video here is the bonus tip you can also use this device at home at all what i have explained earlier when you want to go out then simply pick it up take it with you connect it to your car then bring it back to home when you are home it's versatile it's portable however it doesn't have a speaker on it which means that you won't be able to listen to your songs on it directly but it can be paired with a bluetooth speaker so yeah that can be done too well that's about it if you like these tips and tricks then do like subscribe and share this video until then ciao